President Trump unleashing on Nancy Pelosi over the stalled impeachment process, sending out a flurry of tweets calling the Speaker and House Democrats hypocrites and liars. The tweets just part of President Trump's attacks against the Speaker. All I know is my poll numbers are the highest they've ever been. Our fundraising in the Republican Party is the highest it's ever been. Uh, she hates the Republican Party. She hates all of the people that voted for me and the Republican Party. And she's desperate to do. Look, she got thrown out as Speaker once before. She lost like 63 seats, 61 or 63. Tremendous, a record-setting number of seats. I think it's going to happen again. Pelosi facing growing scrutiny over her strategy to withhold sending the articles of impeachment to the Senate. Carl Rove saying the Speaker is, quote, venturing into treacherous constitutional territory. I asked him about that earlier. Nancy Pelosi wants to usurp the constitutional role of the Senate. She is trying to, as the Speaker of the House, intrude into the process that under the Constitution is solely set aside for the United States Senate, namely to try the impeachment of the president. The longer this goes on, the more petty, the more partisan, and the more political this all looks, mm -hmm. and the less people are going to have confidence in what the House did. Meanwhile, GOP Senator Lisa Murkowski getting a lot of attention from the media. It comes after saying she is, quote, disturbed by Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell's plan to coordinate with Trump on impeachment. Take a look. The first possible crack in Republican ranks over the Senate impeachment trial of President Trump. Senator Murkowski's remarks are the first sign so far of any dissent within the GOP. A high-profile Republican is not in line with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. She is distinguishing herself from her colleagues. She's critical of Senate Majority Mitch McConnell, uh, pinpointing his past comments. Just the fact that she's saying she wants to be impartial and is concerned about Mitch McConnell's comments is sending shockwaves through the Republican establishment. Holding on to Murkowski like a life raft out there, Jesse. Yeah, I don't think she's going to do anything damaging to the Republican Party. She's an independent-minded person. She has to throw the media a bone to make herself look like she's considerate and independent. But at the end of the day, she's going to vote to acquit. If anything, it's going to be Joe Manchin, maybe even Kirsten Sinema, and Doug, Doug Jones, Jones in Alabama. So at this end of this process, you could have the only bipartisan votes against impeachment in the House and the Senate. I think right now, Pelosi, as you said the other day, she wants the impeachment without the acquittal. But she's not going to get what she wants, because eventually this strategy is going to run out of road. The only thing she's enjoying right now is watching Trump complain. If I were the president, I would stop. I would declare victory. I would say Nancy looks weak. She looks scared and tired. And eventually, the articles will get kicked up, and he'll get the acquittal he's looking for. I do like how he's attacking her as from a dirty district. I think it's effective because everybody can see the dirt in that district in San Francisco, and it just reinforces the image of her as a hypocritical politician that cares more about the party than the people of the country. What about Senator Schumer? Does, you know, when the media there in that montage, Michael was talking about uh, Murkowski and, and maybe she'll flip, do they really think that Senator Schumer is impartial? No, they know it. And this is all about the narrative. That's all this is. Pelosi, Nancy Pelosi, she knows that this has no chance. She's just being a Grinch and trying to ruin another Grinch <laughs> a Christmas. She knows that there's no way Trump's going to get in peace. She just wants to make sure everyone in America was possibly arguing over Christmas dinner. <laughs> if anyone chokes, talk to Nancy Pelosi. If your Uncle Bill choked on a Brussels sprout, Call, uh, her. Call, call her. Call her. Call her district. <laughs> what, what, is, what do you think her plan is, Capri? Well, I, Jesse alluded to this before. I mean, I, I've said this. I mean, I think that what she wants is, you know, to appease and assuage her base by getting out articles of impeachment out of the House, um, showing that she did act something, but then she doesn't want to run the risk of, of the acquittal in the Senate because then Trump can sit there and say, look, you know, I was vindicated. This was all political, et cetera, et cetera. There's no way to avoid it. You need, you know, what is it, three-fifths? Um, to be able to, of, of the Senate, to be able to actually get a conviction on impeachment. That's not going to happen. And I think that a lot of is being made about Lisa Murkowski and some of these other Susan Collins, uh, Mitt Romney. I mean, these are individuals that have consistently been uh, critics on the Republican side in the Senate of a whole host of things, including on the Kavanaugh issue. Now, Murkowski did vote against Kavanaugh, but people like Susan Collins voted for. So I think 
you know, just because they're, you know, in a bit of a kerfuffle right now doesn't mean anything at the end of the and day. And a couple of them have races of their own that they have to deal with. Like in, Susan in Collins. states where they want, where they want to right. win. Um, I, oh, gosh, you made a good point. And I had a thought in my head for uh, Nicole, and now I can't remember it. Uh, so let me give you the floor, Nicole, for whatever you want to say. And I'll well, think well, of so what I my great discuss. question was. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was wonderful, Dana. So what Capri was essentially saying, one, I don't necessarily think Nancy Pelosi has a base that she's appealing to. I think she was against impeachment in the beginning, and now she's just trying to appease her far left freshman Democrats. And I, I personally don't think she wanted to do this. She had to do it for political reasons. She's there, even if Murkowski, Collins, and Romney, you know, it, it, they're not going to vote for impeachment. They're not going to get the two-thirds vote in the Senate. It's not going to happen. And Murkowski, yes, she may be critical of what McConnell is doing, but she votes 74 percent in line with Trump. Yeah. So, yes, she said that she doesn't like what he's doing. It doesn't mean that's how she's going to vote. They're just, the media's running with this, and they're trying to make some rumbling <laughs> in people having yeah. faith in the Republicans. And but I imagine, think that is just crazy. Imagine the montage that we'll do when she, if she doesn't vote to impeach, <laughs> how disappointed the, those people will be. Um, one thing about this, Jesse, just from a strategic standpoint, is impeachment doesn't poll well for Nancy Pelosi, but things like health care, shoring up Social Security, and those types of things do. But she can't figure... If, they are, if they're going to be in impeachment for the first quarter, and they also have Democratic primaries, there's no way that they can get back onto those other topics. Yeah, I think she has to get this done soon rather than later. You have the State of the Union coming up. You have primaries. You maybe want to tack on one more big win for her Congress domestically before they run for re-election in November. And then strategically, going back to her gamesmanship with Mitch, I think she's also trying to delay to just reinforce the idea that this is a rigged Senate trial. The longer and longer her and her media partners hammer Mitch and his Senate compatriots as biased and rigged and not doing this in a way that is fair... I think she just squeezes well, as much juice out of that as she yeah. can well, before she eventually sends the weak I, articles up. Well, I truly think the biggest political threat for these incumbent Republicans, specifically those that are more moderate, Murkowski, is not necessarily the Democrats, I think, in their own primary races. So they have to fall in line with what Republicans are wanting, and polling shows that they're not for impeachment. So they can't vote for impeachment so, because so they'll lose in the primary. The only place where these handful of Republicans are relevant in this context is getting more witnesses and approving more witnesses because I guess they only you only need a simple majority. So say, you know, Murkowski and Collins and yeah. Romney actually, does that have any impact on the bigger picture if right. they say yes, we want XYZ witnesses? Well, actually, that was the my, that was the question I was going to put oh. it was right. And I'll, so we'll give it to you as the last question. So th this idea that um, if you just put it out there and you poll and say, do you think that there should be an investigation? Most people are like, sure. Uh, do you think that it would be good to hear from more people and more witnesses? Most people are like, yeah, sure, without understanding all the other twists and turns of this. Um, and maybe she is resting on this idea that there will be enough Republicans that say, yeah, look, let's, let's have some more witnesses up here, Mulvaney, Bolton, we'll get them up here and have a conversation. I think America is split. A lot of Americans, I think, just want to get it done with. Just yes. get it off the table. It's a joke. There's no Republicans on board now. It, it, it literally is just a, a bad joke on Americans. And then there's people like me who I want all the witnesses. <laughs> I want to call Joey Biden. I want Hunter Biden to testify. I want to fly over half of Ukraine to get him to testify. I want Hillary. If we're going to do a show, let's do, let's do it. Show. And you know how to put a show on. That Absolutely. Sure. There'll be musical numbers. and You can maybe like talk about this in Vegas when dancing. you have your big show. Absolutely. What at the MGM Casino in the oh. week of New Year's? Is oh, I would go to that. If I were in Vegas that week, I would definitely do that.